are starting a study in the Gospel of Matthew. And our goal is to go through all four of the Gospels. So um, it took me two years just to get through the Gospel of John recently. So uh, we'll, I don't know how long it'll take us to go through all week? four Gospels. Every week we had a... Yeah. That's the beginning of the new thing. Yeah. 104 weeks. Yeah. Well, I had up with this guy for a long time. So, so here we are. The Gospel according to Matthew. And I'm not going to give a long introduction because as we go through the Gospel of Matthew, we will see the reasons why uh, Matthew wrote this particular Gospel. And um, uh, it'll become clear to us the purpose of the Gospel and the message of the Gospel. So let's ask uh, God's blessing upon the word tonight and our study. <clears throat> Father, we just thank you now for the opportunity we have to come here and to study your word. I pray tonight, Lord, that uh, you will help us, you will guide us, you will direct us, um, keep us on track and on target, and I pray, Father, that you will be the center of our attention this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 1, verse number 1. Now, the, the first chapter of Matthew starts with the genealogy of Jesus Christ according to his um, earthly adopted father. And we will talk more about that as we go through it. So the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So now, uh, Matthew starts at the beginning with Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. And Judas begot Perez and Zerah of Tamar. And by the way, um, Judas is the Greek form of Judah. Yeah. So it was Judah begot Perez and Zerah of Tamar, and Perez begot Esram, and Esram begot Aram, and Aram begot Aminadab, and Aminadab begot Nisan, and Nasan begot Solomon, and Solomon begot Boaz of uh, uh, Rachel, no, Rahab. Yeah. Rahab. You know, my Bible has it has words like Rahab here. Yeah, <laughs> Rahab and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth and Obed begot Jesse. You got can I borrow your Bible? <laughs> <laughs> you got old, you got the new old I like the really old King Yeah, what James. translation That's what Larry's is that? got too. Yeah. Okay. It's the old King James. So it's in the Greek. Okay. Let's let's start that over again at verse five. And Solomon begot Boaz of Rahab, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse. You know how it is when you start getting nervous about something, and the, the harder you work at it, the worse it gets, <laughs> yeah. and that's just the way it was. You know, I should know these names like the back of my hand. You know, <laughs> And Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Uriah. And Solomon, Solomon begot Rehoboam, and Rehoboam begot Abijah, and Abijah begot Asa, and Asa begot Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat begot Joram, Joram begot Uzziah, and Uzziah begot Jotham, and Jotham begot Ahaz, Ahaz begot Hezekiah, Hezekiah begot Manasseh, Manasseh begot Amon, Amon begot Josiah. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brethren about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconiah begot Shelitiel, and Shelitiel begot Zerubbabel. Now, I'm going to stop right here. As you, as you know... The book, there's, there's two books in the New Testament that have the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Um, Matthew opens up his gospel with 
the genealogy of Christ. Now he starts at Abraham, okay, and he goes through. Now there's a reason that he starts at Abraham. Can anybody tell me why he starts at Abraham? Abraham, father. Right. Okay. Abraham is the father of the Hebrew race. He's okay. The pioneer and founder. He's the founder, right? That he's the first man in the Bible called a Hebrew. Okay? So he's the founder, of, he's the, he is the father of the Hebrew race. And, and Matthew is setting out to show us why Jesus Christ should be honored by the Jewish people and accepted as a king. Okay? So he comes through jo jo Jesus Christ in the lineage of Joseph comes through the the uh, through Abraham's lineage now we have to understand something in in Hebrew tradition if a child does not have an earthly father or if the earthly father rejects the child and he is raised by like an uncle or somebody that just loves him in this case Joseph isn't Jesus' uncle, you know. Right. He just simply is the husband. We'll see that, the husband of Mary, all right? But in Jewish tradition, a child was not owned by the parents. A child was always owned by God, particularly male children, mm -hmm. okay? So when a, when a man adopted a child, that child received all of the rights and the privileges of that household whether he was born naturally born of that household or not okay so today there's almost a stigma about adoption in fact you know uh take take our two grandsons brandon and darwin who aaron and javier took them into their house from an orphanage all right now, they call us grandpa and grandma. They call Aaron and Javier mom and dad. They're the only parents that those kids really know or understand. But you take a picture of Aaron and Javier, and they've got Brandon, 19, and Darwin, who's 10. And then they've got <laughs> Lydia, 2, and Rita, 6, OK? <clears throat> and people are always wondering, in fact, in fact, one lady started a story about Javier that that Brandon and, and Darwin were Javier's children from a previous marriage. I mean, it started a real scandal. You know, people were calling us, and is that right? You know, and you know, no, it wasn't right. In fact, Javier's younger than Aaron. Okay, so for him to have a child that's you know 19 years old would have been not a feat, but you know, yeah, he's out not, of the he's, ordinary. He's not that old. No, he's not that old. Yeah. Okay. How so, old is Javier? Uh, Thirty. Well, Aaron's thirty-six. Yeah. So he has to be sixteen. He's, he's three yeah. years. He's three years younger than Aaron. So yeah. he'd be sixteen. 18. Yeah. Yeah. About sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which uh, just doesn't make sense. It's possible, yeah. but in this case, just doesn't yeah. make sense. All right. So we're always telling people these are our adopted kids. All right. Well, in Judaism, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that. These are my children. These are my children. Okay? So Jesus Christ is going to be accepted as the son of Joseph. <clears throat> All right? Matthew sets out to tell us he's not the son of Joseph, but he's the son of God. All right? So he's going to make that very clear. But not only that, he is going to set down some rules and regulations in, in, his, in this genealogy to show people that God is accepting of folks who we would normally think deserve his grace. Amen. All right? Let, let, me, let me just share with you a little bit of insight about that. All right. In uh, the third verse, we have Judah, and we have Perez and Zerah, and their